In terms of design, the X670EF tips its hat to the dark hero boards of old, donning an all-black attire across the PCB and heatsinks. This sleek, minimalistic look screams subtlety and sophistication, ideal for those who love a clean, understated aesthetic, but don't be fooled by its calm exterior. This board is an erupting volcano of features. Now, if you're like me, a hoarder of devices and peripherals, the ROG Strix X670EF is like a breath of fresh air. It comes packed with 12 USB ports, 10 of which are high-speed USB 3.0, 3.2 Gen 2 ports, meaning you can connect all your gadgets without worrying about running out of space. And how about future-proofing? Well, this motherboard checks that box with a flourish. With a bunch of PCIe 5.0 slots, it's all set to embrace the latest generation of GPUs and SSDs. This is a board that's ready to evolve alongside you on your PC building adventure. So who's the ideal customer for this motherboard? If you're watching your dollars but still crave top-tier features, the X670EF is your match made in heaven. With a fantastic price-performance ratio, it makes for a reliable companion to the Ryzen 9 7900X. However, I gotta warn the extreme overclockers and tech aficionados out there. If you're all about pushing your system to the limit or need the very latest features like USB 4, the X670EF might feel a little underwhelming. Its power phase design doesn't lend itself well to hardcore overclocking, and the absence of USB 4 ports might be a deal breaker for some. Comparing it to the competition, the X670EF stands its ground with its generous USB ports and future-ready design. However, it might lag behind when it comes to overclocking capabilities and next-gen features like USB 4. In a nutshell, the Asus ROG Strix X670EF Gaming Wi-Fi is a feature-stacked, value-packed motherboard. It's a top choice for budget-savvy builders and those looking for a board that will grow with them. But if you're into extreme overclocking or absolutely need the latest features, you might want to scout the market a bit more. Big thumbs up for the generous USB ports, future-proof design with plenty of PCIe 5.0 slots, and top-notch value for money. Thumbs down for not being the top choice for intense overclocking and the lack of USB 4 ports. But remember folks, no board is perfect and it's all about finding the right fit for your needs and budget. Before you dash off, I've got another awesome video for you right here with the three best motherboards for Ryzen 9 7900X. Trust me, you don't want to miss this one. So sit tight and let's keep this journey rolling. As always, thank you for watching and until the next one, stay awesome.